Did you know that Sidney Crosby is bilingual? Or how about that he's a history buff? Or that there's a children's book about Crosby shooting hockey pucks in his basement as a child and continually hitting the family dryer? Well, in this video, we're gonna tell you about 18 things you probably didn't know about Sid the Kid. Before we get into it, for anybody who's new to hockey and hasn't heard the name Sidney Crosby, here's a quick little breakdown of his career. Crosby has been one of the best players in the NHL for almost 20 years. He is nearing the 600 goal mark and has won three Stanley Cups and two Olympic gold medals. For any more quick facts like that, you're gonna have to watch the rest of the video. Number one. Crosby's father, Troy, played major junior hockey in Canada in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League in the 80s, and he played for the 1985 Memorial Cup Tournament. And this is Canada's Major Junior Hockey National Championship. Troy was also drafted by the Montreal Canadiens in 84, though he never actually played with them. Number two, Sydney is bilingual, speaking both English and French. He was born in Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, and played two seasons in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League with Ramowski Oceanic. French is the first language in the Canadian province of Quebec. Living in a small French-speaking town for the bulk of two years, Crosby took the initiative to learn French. And he actually learned it so well that he even won awards, and he was able to give his acceptance speeches in French. Number three. He's been in a relationship with model Kathy Lutner since 2008 when they met through mutual friends. Both are private and stay off social media the best they can. But so many fans are curious about their relationship. Number four, the stick that Crosby used to score the Olympic gold winning goal for Canada back in the 2010 Olympics, also known as the golden goal, as well as the gloves that he was wearing when he scored it, went missing for a while. But when the stick was finally found, it seemed that it may have been shipped to Russia somehow. One of the gloves had been mistakenly placed in the bag of Crosby's Team Canada teammate, Patrice Bergeron, whose locker was next to Crosby's in the dressing room. Number five. Crosby grew up with Steve Eiserman as a hockey role model. And since Sidney Crosby has been in the NHL, Eiserman has always communicated with Crosby and supported him. One of the things that meant the most to Crosby during the celebration for his thousandth NHL game was a video tribute from Eiserman, who is now the Detroit Red Wings general manager after being their captain for the majority of his career. Number six. But he had another type of relationship with another Red Wings captain. After Crosby and the Penguins defeated the Detroit Red Wings in game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals in 2009 to win Lord Stanley, Crosby famously did not shake hands with his opposing captain the Detroit all-time great defenseman and Hall of Famer Nicholas Lidstrom. Of course, it's a tradition that at the end of an NHL playoff series, all of the players from each team line up and shake hands. It's just a show of sportsmanship, really. But instead of leading the Penguins in the line to shake hands with the Red Wings, Crosby celebrated winning the cup elsewhere on the ice. And when he finally did get around to shaking the hands of a few Detroit players, Lidstrom had left the ice. Crosby was roundly criticized for that situation. Number seven, Crosby is actually a history buff. He took an online course at one point during his NHL career. He said that at first he became interested in history when as a kid, he volunteered at a local veterans hospital. He said some of the guys didn't even want to talk about their service, but others did and Crosby just found their stories interesting. Number eight, Crosby holds multiple NHL records. He was the youngest player in NHL history to score 100 points in a season and was only the seventh rookie to reach that mark in league history. This was not even during the golden age of scoring. And when he was officially named the Penguins captain on May 31st, 2007, Crosby became the youngest captain in NHL history at 19 years, nine months, and 24 days old. Pittsburgh had actually offered him the captaincy during the middle of that season, but he turned it down. He said, I just thought it wasn't right for me. As a team, we were playing great and you just don't want to disrupt things like that. Number nine, in addition to being the youngest captain, he was also the youngest team captain to win the Stanley Cup at 21 years old. That may be the explanation of why Crosby did not immediately line up with his teammates to shake hands after winning the cup in 2009. He was also the youngest player to record 200 career points, the youngest to have back-to-back -back 100 point seasons, and the youngest to lead the NHL in scoring. That was when he had 120 points during the 2006 season at the age of 19. Number 10. Crosby wears number 87 for a simple reason. His birthday is August 7th, 1987. That would be the 8th month, 7th day in 1987. He 
grew up rooting for the Montreal Canadiens because, of course, the team drafted his father, which was mentioned earlier. Number 11. Crosby has a rivalry with the Washington Capitals superstar, Alex Ovechkin, who was drafted the year prior in 2004. And when he was drafted in 2005, they were both the faces of the franchise immediately as their teams battled for supremacy in the NHL's Eastern Conference. Despite their battles, the pair formed a friendship late in their careers. Number 12. Crosby has said that once he retires, he thinks he doesn't want to stay involved in the NHL. He has said that he wants to stay involved with hockey, but just not at the NHL level as a coach or general manager, but instead focus on some kind of player development role. Number 13. As a child, he shot pucks in the family basement, and their dryer took the bulk of the punishment. During a visit to The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Crosby talked about it, and a picture of the battered dryer was shown. I started shooting pucks in my basement, and that, the dryer, ended up being the net, Crosby said. I started shooting, and I'd miss, and the puck would hit it, and I'd hear from upstairs, what was that? I didn't say anything. And after it happened again, she came down there, and she was pretty angry. And I just kept hitting it, and after a while, she just didn't care. That story became so famous that a children's book, Sid the Kid and the Dryer, was written about it. Number 14. During his rookie season, Crosby moved in with Mario Lemieux, who was in his last season with the Penguins in 2005. He lived with Lemieux and his family for the first five seasons of his career. Crosby has not talked very much about his time living with Lemieux and his family, but he certainly had a lot to learn about living with one of the greatest hockey players of all time. Number 15. During the 2002 season, as a 15-year-old, Crosby played for the Shattuck St. Mary's AAA team in Minnesota. The experience was just not a pleasant one for him though. Crosby said that opponents tried to injure him and that he was a target for verbal abuse from opponents and even the parents on and off the ice. He went so far as to not wear his jersey during tournament games so he wouldn't be recognized. But all of that was in vain. Crosby had 72 goals and 90 assists for 162 points in 57 games and led the team to the U18 AAA National Championship. Number 16. In 2015, he signed the richest endorsement deal in NHL history. It was a six-year contract with Adidas that paid him between $1 million and $1.5 million a year. The value of his deal is about $10 million. Number 17. Every NHL player has some superstitions. I mean, that's what they're known for, right? And Crosby is no exception. Among them are, he eats the same peanut butter sandwich at 5 p.m. before each game, he keeps his stick at his own stall instead of with the rest of his teammates' sticks, he walks around on one specific garbage can in the Penguins dressing room before he heads out on the ice, he stick handles through the same on-ice McDonald's advertisement before each home game, he tapes and retapes his stick for every single period, and no one else can touch his stick once he's taped it. He never passes by the opponent's locker room after he enters the arena, he always does a special handshake with teammate Evgeny Malkin on the way to the ice before a game, he does not talk to his mother or sister on game days because when he does that, he winds up getting injured and finally, Crosby wears the same cap for the entire season without washing it. Number 18. In addition to the nickname of Sid the Kid, he has also had other nicknames. He got the name Daryl his first season in junior hockey. He had 8 points in his first game, and since the NHL record for a game is 10 points held by Daryl Sittler, Crosby's nickname became Daryl. He was also called Creature because of the size and muscularity of his legs. So there you have it. The 18 things you probably didn't know about Sid the Kid. Which one surprised you the most? You can leave a comment about it, or let us know what we missed. Click the video on the screen to watch the 20 things you didn't know about Connor Bedard. And if you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm help us grow. And see you next time.